In the previous video when we were looking at drains cur drain currents versus VDS, we were only looking at that curve for one gate to source voltage, but you can also draw you can also be changing gate to source voltage and in this case you're going to draw a family of curves um, that correspond to the drain current versus the drain to source voltage but for different gate to source voltages. So that's what, what this graph is showing. So we're actually missing one here. So if I had uh, VGS less than the threshold voltage then we said that that current's going to be near zero so that's all the way down here. Now uh, once I have the VGS greater than the threshold voltage then I can follow along with at this curve as I vary VDS. If I make VGS a, a larger VGS then I'll follow along this curve instead and as I keep on increasing VGS the amount of drain current I get for a particular uh, drain to source voltage will keep on increasing and it looks like this and you also notice that we have a linear part to each curve a nonlinear part to each curve and then once we get to the saturation voltage then the curve will flatten out and it will be completely horizontal you can connect um, all these points that are between the nonlinear part of the curve and the saturation um, by a parabolic relationship and it still follows that that same equation that we had um, in the previous video for what the saturation voltage is